so and why we need cds in hana what, what is the another benefit of or uses the cds view it depends upon the reusability so cds view you can reuse multiple times okay so our main goal is our main focus is our main goal goal is to do code push down into sap hana database okay so so and one more thing one concept is there we call you heard about or not but here i'm going to explain with you this is the side by side approach scenario means in this case when we work with the cds view so that means directly we are working on the hana database inside the hana database so here in 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 this case when you the cds view there is there are no abap stack on top or no abap layer so normally what happens actually when we don't use hana or when we use any another database such as microsoft or oracle database behind the sap system so what happens generally actually suppose we do any coding and we do execute an it transaction codes in the abap stack abap layer or we can call this abap stack so for every request your request travels through the application layer to hana database it processes into the database and come back to the your hana data uh, sorry application layer and you get your result into the sap gui an example so suppose this is sap gui okay sap gui or or front end sap front end means where we use or where we display the results or output suppose a functional consultant okay if he is executing va 03 transaction code to display sales order data details okay so what happens when they put when they execute va 03 when they put the test data or if they put the sales order number they wanted to display they wanted to get the data what happens behind the system so generally what happens if we don't work with the hana or s4 hana environment generally what happens suppose this is oracle database right if i'm talking about the abap consultant or if i'm talking about any functional consultant a functional consultant if he executes suppose one minute guys uh so suppose if a functional consultant they execute any transaction code or a abap business or abap developer if they want to get some data from the database table they want to process and they want to display the output so what happens in the system architecture so when this is suppose a web player so when they execute any data this request will travel from this application layer to database layer your request would be processed here here 
then it will come back to application layer then your output will be display here in GUI this SAP GUI means in SAP GUI you can see your output in the front-end system okay so our main motto is when we work with the HANA or S4 HANA database simple that means we do code push down after presentation layer business layer comes into the picture then database layer comes into the picture to push down means you are pushing down means when you work with the CDS view or when you work with the web on HANA that means directly or as for HANA directly you are working on the in this layer means you push you put your code into the itself database HANA database suppose just a minute <coughs> yes suppose a functional consultant they are executing any uh, functional transaction code behind ABAP business logic will be triggered or if functional consultant they execute any functional transaction code behind ABAP business logic trigger always right so what happens the benefit of the S4 HANA or HANA environment higher level of coding like if I'm talking about the web consultant so suppose aggregations you want uh, you would like to get from the salary minimum maximum gross amounts these kind of things will be triggered into the without HANA it, it triggers here it executes in the ABAP layer then for every record your select statement ABAP consultant they use select statement to get the data from the database table or views so the drawback for every record or every query your request will go from the ABAP layer to database layer it executes here again come back and you get your uh, output into the SAP GUI now one concept came CDS view CDS view core data services so what is the benefit first thing just hold on guys I'm to join one meeting <coughs> actually I'm going to start one meeting here Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear my voice? Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear my voice, sir? Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, also I hope you can see my screen also. Yes, yes. Okay, that's good. So, sir, actually, uh, we will start with the directly CDS view. Okay. Okay. So you know the architecture of the HANA benefits like code push down, why we call a code push down. So just I will give you one brief introduction. So suppose this is a normal architecture if I'm talking about SAP. So we have SAP GUI like three layers, presentation, business layer and database layer. Right. So mm -hmm. if normally if I'm talking about the functional consultant. Yeah, one second. Can I can I record uh, this one? Yes, it's already. I'm already recording. You can also record. Uh, please ask the host to give you permission to record. Can you? Can you please? Okay, sir. One minute. Uh, 
you can give permissions to me to recording okay there's this option meet info share computer sound optimize please ask host to give you permission to record okay but you no need to worry sir actually i am also recording here this videos you can see here this what is under this this uh, software is recording the video in very high definition format so okay so okay. so no need to worry so i will share you after downloading i will share you on the skype directly that video <coughs> Okay. Sir, before okay. before uh, jump to the uh, concept of the before going to the CDS, sir. Actually, first I will give you one uh, normal introduction. So, SAP, you know, as a presentation business layer and database layer, we have, right? So, if as a, if I'm talking about any functional consultant or technical consultant, or functional, so generally what we do in the business layer. So, suppose if I'm talking about a sales uh, <coughs> SD consultant, SAP SD consultant. if he execute any va03 transaction code normally if he executes any va03 transaction code to display the sales order data what he does he will go to the sap gui here in the presentation layer he will va03 will enter he will put the sales order data he will execute that transaction code okay so what so what happens hello So can you hear my voice? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So generally, what happens? Yes, yes. Okay. So generally, what happens? Request will go from the business layer or application layer to the database. If suppose there is no database, there is no HANA database or no S4 environment is there. Request every request will go from application layer to the database. It executes here. It come back to the application layer again. It will go to the SAP GUI. There we can see the output. <coughs> right. So our main motto here, okay. our here main motto to work with the CDS view. Code push down. To do code push down, use code push down technique. what is a code push down technique so generally when we work with the abap layer or business layer or abap stack or generally any application layer so what happens if a person working as a abap 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 consultant or a functional consultant if a functional consultant they execute functional transaction codes mb 23n so suppose example that so what happens generally when they execute the transaction codes every functional transaction codes behind they have abap business logic so generally what happens when they execute the business logic suppose uh, supp sorry functional transaction codes suppose there is no in case there is no hana environment is there so for every query will have to go to the hana database so the meaning to say that it puts a lot of burden to the database suppose a person who wants to get some gross amount or aggregation they want to do directly without hana environment so that kind of like generally they use select statement to get the data data from the uh, data from the da database or tables or views they use select statement so in that case what happens actually generally for every queries your request will travel from application layer to database layer again it come to the application then it will reach to the sap gui then we get our output right now i'm talking talking about the cds view what is the core data services why it came what is the benefit so cds is the core data services are a new infrastructure for defining and consuming semantically rich data model in sap hana or sap in s4 hana right right sir one minute <coughs> one more thing so why we need cds view the benefit of the cds view cds view cds view cds view is the reusable concept <laughs> or object the benefit of the cds view this is reusable and definitely when we directly work with the cds view then when we work with the cds view we skip this layer 
there is no ABAP stack or business layer or application layer when we work with the CDS view. When we work with the CDS view, that means directly we are working into HANA or S4 HANA database directly. Now, CDS view is completely based on SQL. Any standard features like joins, unions, built-in function is directly available in CDS view. In the CDS view, I will tell you how to use that. In the CDS view, directly we can use joining, unions, build, like built-in function, we can use. One more benefit of the CDS view, CDS view is the compatible with any kind of database. Now, one more thing, sir. So if, I hope you are familiar with the SC11 transaction code. So normally in SC11 transaction code, there we have views, not CDS view, views, normal views. So there we had, we have projection view, maintenance view, database view. So the drawbacks, which views exist in the SC11T code, we cannot use joins with that views, the first drawback. But in case of the CDS view, we can use. So technically CDS view is the enhancement of SQL, which provide us with the data definition language DDL or definition semantically rich data model. Or we can use here user defined type. Now I will tell you, here few concept I'm going to share with you, annotation. Annotation, this is a concept comes into the CDS view. First I will tell you how it looks like, your CDS view. <coughs> how CDS view, uh, CDS view, sorry, look like, like, I will share you the one uh, template here, which I built in the real time. <coughs> this is the report actually, and uh, here I used, one minute, yeah, this is the CDS view, which I did. <coughs> so first I will explain, uh, this is the template, like this is at the rate about catalog.sql view name DDA. Now I'm going to share with you one concept is associations. So what is the uses of association to enrich the data model with additional domain specific metadata. One more thing, an annotation is a line of code that starts with an add the rate sign. This is the annotations. These are the annotations. Why we call metadata, data about data. So behind when we use, when we add this annotations, this template to our CDS view, behind some coding would be called automatically means we have to do here a less efforts when we use the CDS view. So CDS view, this, this we call annotations. Okay. So it starts with ABAP catalog dot SQL view name. So in, if I'm talking about the normal DDIC, where we use data dictionary, central repository system, which we have, where we use SC11 transaction code normally, we can see the tables or everything. There we have also few views, but there were some drawbacks. We cannot use joining with that view. So that's why, but the thing is in this CDS we can do join. We can use inner join, left outer joins. So this is the additional view name. In CD is in SC11, we can find some previous old views. But this is our advanced view here we can find when we were uh, or here we can use or here we can see when we work with the CDS view. This is the, our SQL view name. So ABAP catalog dot compiler compiler filter to true. This is the additional annotations we can add. I will explain you everything here. We can check the authorization also here. We can use check or not required. Also we can use not R E Q U I R E D or we can use check if I want to use authorization 
if I would like to give any authorization to my CDS view. Okay, one more concept will come into the picture. Uh, one point is will come. This is the annotations. One more thing, associations. Normally, what happens, sir? Normally, if I want to suppose join some tables, normally, what is the association? Normally, if I would like to join some tables, suppose I have this table, I have this another tables, we, I have another table. So this table we can join through the inner joins, outer joins, left outer join, loud, right outer join. We can use join to join the tables. But in case of CDS view, we know we can use the joins, but new concept came into the CDS view. We call this is associations. Association is nothing but the inner joins. If I would like to join some table, suppose there is a biz business partner table, SNWD, S, the business partner table we can find in HANA database, SNWD underscore BPA or SNWD underscore SO underscore HEAD or I want to join SNWD, this is enterprise procurement model tables underscore item if I would like to join these two tables, normally we can use joins. How? Suppose I want to get some fuel, I want to take some fields from this table and want to get some data from fields from this table. Then we can use normal joins such as inner joins we can use. Now I have used there. But association is nothing but a skip this, that concept like joining. But instead of using inner joins, we can directly use associations here. I will show you. I have created the multiple cities with the associations. So normally you no need to write this statement inner join, left outer join to join few tables. So I will explain it sir first. So association, what is an association? An association is used to or is used for calculator. Calculate or calculate and queries. in the data model. So we can call or we call this as a data rich data model in case of the CDS view. <coughs> so I explain you this is the annotations. So this is the view. Why we use this? This is a mandatory line. We have to use this. What happens? Hello? Hello sir, can you hear my voice? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. I am in mute. I am hearing. I am hearing. Okay, sir. Okay. So, normally, sir, actually, this is annotations. Okay. So, if I will go to the SC11 transaction code. Sorry, today it's actually uh, one minute. Actually, we need to upgrade this. I just I have downloaded. It's not starting. Okay, actually, in normally SC11 transaction code, if we will go. Generally, we can find few views there, database view or maintenance view, projection views. But the drawback with that views, we cannot join that views. But in the CDS view, when we use this statement, then in HANA database or in HANA, S for HANA or HANA database, one view will be created automatically with this name. Suppose here I put Z O I A underscore A L V underscore I D A. I created this CDS view to display an ALV report. Get the data from the S4 HANA database and display into ALV report format. ABAP catalog dot compiler. Hello? Hello sir? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So, ab ABAP catalog dot compiler dot compare filter to true means at runtime we can directly activate the compiler here also. Filter means 
normally in any programming or any coding when we do any coding behind one exception or error thread executes when we type anything suppose a b c d e system checks at run time when we type anything is this minus typing is correct or wrong so that compiler minus yes sir yeah it's not sharing it is Okay, I hope you can see now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it is. Okay, sir. Okay. So, abap catalog dot compiler. This is the statement. So, why we use this abap catalog dot compiler dot compare filter? So, these are the properties. Actually, abap catalog contains this compiler property. Dot means inside that compiler contains this compare filter property. so we can activate true or false at run time also access control this is the another annotations we can check at run time like we can put the authorization to means some different user if if we don't want to some another user uh, can use my this cds view then we can put authorization check check right so suppose a basis consultant they put some restrictions or they put some authorization also we can activate that authorization from this statement check or if in case not required we can skip or directly we can skip this line in the user text dot label so this we can see in the output of our cds view now the main point the main main logic comes starts begins from here define view this is the definition of view define view is the keyword or statement here we can use any name our custom name <coughs> start with z or y to create a cds view define view z cds underscore view underscore oia underscore lv at select from now what i am doing here i want to get some sales order data from the snwd underscore so table as so what is this this is alias name alias <coughs> alias means we can put here any name underscore suppose s n w uh, sorry any name we can put suppose a b suppose a alias name we can put any name just a referential name so here we can use any name like any name means like any referential name reference name now next step what i am doing inner join i am joining this two table <coughs> sales order and business partner so this sales order table i put to ka alias name as a so alias is nothing but a referential name just like my name am manas you can call me like uh, any another name like this kind of this is a referential like just a ref one referential name sap s4 hana suggests when you work with the cds view you should always use <coughs> alias or as much as possible you should use alias name this is a standard and sap suggest when you working with s4 hana yes sir hello Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, sir. Now what I'm doing here? Here I'm joining two tables. S and W D is the enterprise procurement model. Sales order. This is the sales order table. Just see. There's a multiple tables. S so. epm sales order header table snwd so epm sales order header header like in the normal normal abap previously in normal system we can find vbak same thing in in case of the s4 hana or hana we can find the table with the name of snwd underscore so so what i'm doing here i'm joining two tables snwd underscore so header as a i put alias name inner join <coughs> i join both table by using inner join S N W D B P A S B P A business partner 
this is the for business partner sales order and business partner i joined both tables based on this key field means if you want to join any table if you want to join two tables three tables four tables multiple tables the both table i will tell you generally suppose normally if normal about i'm talking so suppose you want to join mara or marc or storage location no, mard suppose so marc ma mara you if you want to join two there is a two tables or three tables there should be one common field in all three tables like in this table you will find a key, and should be a key field key field that would be when we use the key fields that technically i am talking about primary index it would be generated so that i will explain you but normally if you want to join any tables there should be one common key field in the all M, sorry mat and r <coughs> in all the three tables you will find this field in the mara material master item also store location also you will find this field based on that you can join three tables and you can get few fields from this table as per your recommend you can get few fields from this table you can get few fields from this tables and you can put in a single basket combination of the fields so <coughs> sorry sir so here what i'm doing exactly here i joined bpa business partner sales order table as bp on on means this is the filter condition actually in normal coding normal web coding or normal programming if you want to filter the data filter means <coughs> suppose just take two tables in case two or more than two tables concept is same mara this is mara table this is mard table sorry marc table so there is a common field m a t n r <coughs> in normal actually coding or normal business logic if you want to join these two tables first thing first mandatory thing there should be one common field in both tables which is key field second thing is one minute <coughs> yes when you use this table you have to use where condition where is a keyword or statement based on this keyword we filter the data we filter the data from the database table or views i will show you here how <coughs> now this this report just uh, just i consumed here cds view so where we use to filter out the data filter out the record from the both tables but in case of cds view we no need to use first thing where call where clause <coughs> we don't use here filter condition so i am filtering the data from the so so is the alias name of this my snwd so table as so this is the referential name so what i am doing i am telling to the system so which is the alias name or a uh, alias uh, or a simple thing alias word or a uh, word of the table of snwd or i am telling to the system snwd dot underscore so table has one key uh, key field buyer guid and bp bp is the referential field of this table sorry referential alias name of this table snwd underscore bpa so simple thing i'm telling to the system take buyer guid or compare or take buyer guid from the snwd so and take node key from the snwd bp and filter my data filter and get the data so this is my filtration or joining based on this my record will come one more thing this is this is the way to define key fields in the cds view now here i got here i joined and i got some table data from the different table now i want to define a cds view with some fields like i want to define one is one structure or i want to define fields in the cds view so this is the statement key key is a keyword and we call this is the fields or elements of the cds view 
elements we can call this elements so what I did here <coughs> all the fields like node key and buyer UID I got from here in this statement by, by joining two tables which is snwd underscore so or snwd underscore bpa now next point again I defined few fields generally what we do generally what we do if I want this is my database <coughs> this is my application layer or ABAP layer or ABAP stack or business layer if I want to get some data from the database table or views first I need to define a structure or define declare some fields top of my report I will show you one report sir one minute hold up it will be explained more in depth to you here new folder I created one actually previously one ALV report Manas forms, Manas smart forms, forms. Code push down. No, this is actually course content on a web. So generally, what we do, sir? Actually, we define the fields. Then we get the field, get the data from the database and third step we display the data. Or display the output. This is the normal process. We define we have to define what we are going to get, we get and we display. This is normal procedure. So tomorrow I will ready with my few reports which I uh, or many reports which I developed. <coughs> so here sir I defined few fields here or we call this as an element. Here I put the case. What we put what I define here SO which is the alias name of the SNWD SO what it, I did here. SO ID I want to get database SO ID. I want to get currency code from this table SNWD SO and also I want to get gross amount also I want to get created at field details from this SNWD table and only one field I want to get from the business partner which is the company name. CDSV is very simple just we need to understand what's going on and just what is the logic. The structure is very simple sir. So from this from SNWD business partner I just got company name. Company is nothing but a vendor of just business, business partner details and SNWD SO from SNWD SO table I just got this few fields or I want to got I want sorry I want to get so that's why we have to define first now I put a case case like if else we can use if this should be happen then it will be happen like if else here I use instead of if else I used additional concept case so this will be clear if I will give you some uh, like brief uh, like technical uh, like uh, website some more uh, so case I filter here I put case so dot delivery status in this table I put a case based on the delivery status what is the delivery status when when agar if delivery status is open if blank means that means open open order when D means that means delivered else delivery status and delivery status substrings I, I use some concept of business logic in and sort name so few more concept I'm going to uh, tell you the CDSU this is the system <coughs> now I will create one full CDSU from the scratch so how we create the CDSU what is the format what is a template and what is the structure So CDS view starts with this annotations ABAP. This is the case sensitive, sir. We cannot use this. Dot data. No, we cannot use this. So here we have to use ABAP, same as it as it is catalog. 
dot dot means inside the sub app catalog metadata this is the property inside the sub app catalog or this sql view sql sql view name exists this exists inside this that's why we give the reference with the dot means i want to tell to the system a web catalog contains one property sql view name so through dot i am going to define that so a web catalog dot sql view name here we have to put the dots then any in the single comma z c or dd il data definition language underscore a b c or we can use name view this is a custom name we can put anything we cannot put here st full stop we cannot use this here next step here i want to use one more concept is there when we use the cds view SAP HANA recommends or SAP ABAP oh sorry uh, SAP HANA or SAP S4 HANA recommends we should use here client handling in normal generally in all tables we can see the MA and DT client dependent field right so here we have to also maintain that how just CLI ENT client dependent if I would like to make this cds view as a client dependent just pass true else pass false but i want to check field i want to use this client dependent or i want to make this cds view as a client dependent just use tru true like simple in the tables if you go any mara or vbak any tables suppose there is a another tables is there multiple tables in the ddi is a data dictionary you will find their mandatory key fields is there same it concept is the same both similar here now next step one more annotation i would like to add abap catalog dot compiler dot compare filter Here we pass true or false. Add the rate, add the rate symbol in the user text. Dot label. We want actually this we can use in when we use the O data services. Or in the output, it will be label will be displayed in your output with the CDS view. The label label we can use. this is this is cds view sorry example now this is a template default template you can remove as per recommend or you can add more annotations here now cds view will be begin begins from here define define in the statement to define the cds view view here we can use y or z cds get sales order data as select from means in the cds view you want to get get which kind of data or you want to talk with which kind of table suppose if you working with the bw tables so i worked with the bw sir actually i worked with the like start routine in routine some enhancement i did so data source enhancements rsa1 uh, proxy procedures i worked with the so simple thing now i'm going to tell to the system or saps for hana to system what i'm going to do or which type of data i would like to get from the database table which exists in the s4 hana so as select from here we can define our table jcds here i'm using jcds now i will show you this is status table jcds table in sap so this is the jcds is a standard sap table which used to store change document for user status 
change document just i want to get some data from the change document table now next thing one more thing here sir you cannot save all this thing into the tr when you create this tr or delivery unit in case of this hana you use delivery unit right so this will not save into your delivery unit only this cds view name will be saved into the delivery unit or tr which is a different name is tr and you can migrate from the development to quality quality to product production system so this will be added into the tr now we have to put this comma or oh sorry not comma this bracket open bracket key key we have to use key this is the case sensitive so key obgnr obgnr comma or this is we call elements elements of the cds view elements or fields both are similar here this is nothing but a field which i am going to define stat status sorry stat comma c h g n r one more field is there i n a c t now just i want to define four fields you can define you can use multiple fields as based on your requirement how many fields you want to define or you want to get or hit from the database tables now this is the annotations these are the annotations this is my cds view this is the sql view this is my sql view name we call this is elements of cds view or we can call this is my cds view fields right so here or here what we can use suppose this is my ddl data definition language source name your database source name here you can use joins to join some table suppose left outer join if you want to join tables so first i will one minute sir uh, paint yes so suppose this is your inner join suppose this is a table a this is a table b i want to use here i want to get this records both are similar in both tables we can use inner join so what will happen this will be skipped this is will be skipped which is not matchable in in both in the both tables so suppose this concept will be matched we will get this uh, data so we use inner joins inner internal inner both are similar uh, like same records in both tables so suppose one table is there one table is there so this is the left outer join this record will be fetched system will skip this record right means just opposite this record will be fetched right same thing i am doing here you can use left out outer join to join the tables or data source yeah data source data source name this is just template on on suppose again start again data source name means this is a different table name you can use here like this you can join this cds views the tables with the cds view you can join now here what i will do just a minute okay define view as a select from jdbc left outer join here i will do jdbc left outer join left outer join on on now i will put the jcds jcds one table has one field stat stat equal sorry equal to another table i want to join t j 02 t dot has one field stat i told 
the field should be similar i hope stat hello sir can you hear my voice hello yes 